Hello, everyone. This is Dave, the prayer guy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that this video and my other ones are encouragement to you to use prayer as a fuel for God's mission. That is my vision. That is what God has given me to share, to encourage people. My ministry is all about encouraging missional prayer, teaching missional prayer, you know, really filtering and focusing our prayer through God's mission of making disciples and growing those disciples to Christian maturity. So if this video is an encouragement to you, go ahead and check out my other ones, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, all those stuff are very helpful uh, to this ministry. So don't forget to do that. So if you've been on this channel for a while, you would notice that I've talked about some prayer opportunities that are coming up this fall. And today I'm going to talk about a third one. So in a previous one, I talked about I talked about 40 days for life. I talked about 10 days of prayer, and you know, so the fall has a lot of like great prayer opportunities to help focus to help focus our prayers. And so today I want to talk about the World Student Prayer Day. And so this is coming up on Friday, October 21st. It's always on a Friday. And this and this event is put on by the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students, or IFES for short. And they are encouraging all of us to pick a country and pray for colleges and universities, campuses in that nation. And, and so... And so I love this event because you can pick really any nation. If you're, if for example, you have a heart for South Africa, you can declare and let them know on their website. And I will have that website in the description so you can click on it, check it out, get more information. Um, you can click on that country and say, I'm going to pray for that country and they will send you um, prayer requests on how to pray for the I. FES movement in that nation. Uh, one big reason why I want to I want to promote and talk about this day of prayer for college campuses around the nation is I came to faith um, through the ministry of InterVarsity Christian Fel Fellowship, and they are a part of IFES. They're part of the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students. So. People who've been praying on this prayer day um, before I became a Christian back in the 90s, thank you um, for praying for these movements around the world to be um, to be successful in their mission, to help people become disciples. Um, so I'm a product of those prayers, so thank you so much. And so I will join this day. I will pick a college campus. Um, I mean, I will pick a nation to pray for, and I invite you to join me. And like I said, I'll have the description. I'll have a link in the description so you can click on it, uh, check it out, prayfully pick your nation. And uh, and when you're praying for these nations, don't forget to pray that more students at, on universities, campuses, will become disciples of Jesus. And that the Christians there will grow to maturity, that the Christians will be involved in this mission, uh, as well as the other requests that they have. And a lot of times the requests are for funding. Um, so these, so the staff members of these organizations around the world can go to campus um, full time. They don't have to worry about funding. Um, they can just focus on the work and the tasks that God has given them. Um, so yeah, pray for the requests that are shared. Um, and the best part is, you know, when you're praying, whatever happens there, where, however God decides to answer your prayers, you're going to have a part, you're going to have a role in advancing the kingdom, God's kingdom in that country for years to come. Because, you know, let's face it, most of the time, college students are fresh out of high school. They just graduated from high school. They're young. They're ready to tackle the world. I mean, just, just think about how your prayers 
for the gospel to be advanced on these campuses around the world, that as you're praying for them, you know, a new disciples, a new disciple happen, and they're following Jesus for years to come, well into adulthood, decades sometimes, most of the times, of these individuals doing work for the kingdom, all because they became believers at a young age. I mean, just think about the possibility. I mean, they're going to graduate. They're going to go into the workforce. And they're going to be kingdom builders after college. Whether it would be as pastors or missionaries around the world. Or, you know, like I said, it just could be in the workforce. In, in secular society. They're going to get married and have kids and teach their kids um, about Jesus. I mean, this is just the, the, the possibilities are endless. And so your prayers can have effect for years, decades to come. So sign up, click on the link. I encourage you so much to pick a nation and pray for those college campuses uh, on that day and for many years to come. All right. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that it was an encouragement to you. Please um, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more encouragement, more teaching on how to pray more missionally, more op hopefully more prayer opportunities as I learn about these different prayer movements that are going on. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, so God bless and may the Lord be with you.